One of F1's one's most beautiful love affairs has come to an end. Get in there, Bono. Welcome to Quick Stop F1 News. My name is Nyashim and you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. And yes, today I am bringing you news of a breakup within F1. We all knew that Lewis Hamilton has signed that deal to go to Ferrari. He'll be there in 2025. But there was always talk about whether or not his long-term race engineer, Peter Bonington, aka Bono, aka Thicker Than A Snicker, was going to join him. Uh, and look, we all knew that Loic Serra, uh, Mercedes engineer, he'd already gone to Ferrari. He's already agreed to go to Ferrari as their head of what? Oh, yes, as the head of chassis and performance engineering. So people were leaving from Mercedes. Was Bono going to leave with Lewis too? Well, those rumours have been thoroughly put to bed because it has been confirmed today that Peter Bonington has got a promotion. Yay. Well done, Bono. Yep. He has been uh, hired or hired. He has been promoted to head of race engineering uh, and he'll be reporting into Andrew Shovlin. We all know Shov loves a curry. You've seen him on all of the Mercedes debrief uh, videos. He's also quite prevalent in the pit lane uh, as I think he is, you know, obviously above Bono. And that's pretty good for Bono, considering he's been Lewis's engineer for quite some time now. I'm sure he's probably seen people within Mercedes move up, get promoted. For example, Mike Elliott rose up through the aerodynamic ranks uh, into, I think, you know, he was the you know, technical director uh, at some point, obviously, not at some point, for the 2022 and part of the 23 season until James Allison replaced him. Uh, well, that's how it is now. Bono's going to have a role where he'll likely be Kimi Antonelli's uh, race engineer, as well as reporting into Shov on the wider scope of performance engineering. So essentially, he'll be covering the performance engineering across the whole team uh, whilst they're at, at the track for these uh, races. So yeah, big up to Bono for that. But there was always this thing. Was Bono going to follow Lewis into Ferrari? And I guess, you know, obviously, you're looking at Ferrari now. Lewis, you'd think, is he going to be lonely in Ferrari? But given that not only is Lloyd Sarah there, but also Jock Clear, who was at Mercedes within Lewis's engineering team in 2013 and 2014, he'll be there. And He's not going to be completely lonely, given those people are there. And you have to consider as well the non-poaching clause that was there uh, for Lewis Hamilton men that it was going to be difficult for him to directly approach Bono and bring him over. Obviously, Ferrari maybe could have gone around that, but maybe that would have been a bit too fishy. But it seems that Bono's happy where he is. And look, why wouldn't he be? He's been there for a long time. And we forget, you know, as much as being in Maranello, working Ferrari, that lure seems to be for anyone, for any normal human being, would be something that we'd want to do. But rerouting, rerouting, rehoming, rehousing your whole family to go over to Italy is not a small thing for people, especially when you have kids, family, partners, all of that other stuff to consider. So, yeah, big up Bono, and mm, we are sad, but is this a good thing? I mean, look, we've reported in the past, and we've said in the past, some of the things with Bono and Lewis in terms of their communication has not always been incredible. You know, off the top of my head, I can think of the Italian GP in 2020 with the incident of Lewis Hamon coming in whilst there was a red flag or, you know, the, the pit lane was essentially closed, cost him the race win. 2021, Russia, again, starting from the pit lane cost him a race win. Uh, in, 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 out, out, out. That whole mix up in Hockenheim where, you know, Lewis wanted to come in, but I was telling him not to come in, do come in, don't come in, do come in, don't come in. It was an incredibly stressful period at that point in a race where Lewis on wet tyres, I'll say, I think he's on slick tyres at the time, do you come in for wet? 
that eventually did lead to a race win and they got over that. Saudi Arabia, again, confusion over whether to come in under a VSC. A lot of pit lane examples here. You know, I, you know, there's been times where I think we've thought about, if you think about, uh, I can't remember the race possibly this season, was it Canada? Where, you know, uh, Lewis was asking, you know, do, should I be pushing on this out lap? Should I be going all out? And he wasn't told. So... There have been issues, although, look, there have been incredible calls. Even the British GP this year, incredible calls to win that. Um, so it's not that it's all bad, but possibly a change in voice, a change in direction in wanting to build a new relationship with his race engineer and be able to maybe start to start afresh and maybe have maybe a more efficient line. And look, because of the relationship he has with Bono, you know, Potentially, that's something that would be maybe not, I guess, holding him back or maybe like precluding to like a poor working relationship. But because they're so close, because the relationship is so tight, it's more than race engineer driver. Does Bono say what he needs to say sometimes? Does Lewis say what he needs to say sometimes? And maybe this is the route to a better and more successful working relationship. But who knows? I want to know what you guys think. How do you feel about Bono leaving? No more getting there, Lewis. We've got 10 more races, 10 more pole positions. Well, I think there's a couple of spin races as well, a few spin races. So however many we've got in there, uh, all of these events that we've got, qualifying races, hopefully we get to hear as many get in there, Lewis's, as possible. And then next season, we're off to Ferrari. So we'll see from there. But let me know what you guys think. We're now around 90 subscribers away from hitting that 5,000 subscriber mark. So guys, give us a subscription. We're going to be pumping out all this content for you throughout the F1 season and beyond. And we want to know, we want to hear what you guys have to think, whether you agree with us or not, whether you like us or not. We love it all the same. Thank you for tuning in. Remember, no matter what life throws at you, keep it on the black stuff. And until next time, take care. Look, mate, if you've got this far, clearly you like what we do. So here's a link to subscribe to the Quicks of Pef1 family. Give that a click. And here's another link to some more cool on our channel. Sorry, cool, cool stuff, stuff, stuff. And remember, no matter what happens, keep it on the black stuff. Click the stuff. Click the, click the links. Click the, the link, the links. Click the links there. There, there.